I just came by to thank uh, every one of them that were here uh, for uh, their service to our country and to our state. It appears as if we're going to miss uh, the brunt of the storm that we expected we might get just a couple of days ago. We were talking about historic, catastrophic, life-threatening floods. Uh, having the guard ready and in a state of readiness, uh, whether it's the uh, country calling them up uh, to send them overseas to some dangerous place or whether it's a governor that calls them up because of a, of a tragedy or crisis uh, in, in their own state or in the neighboring state, uh, you know, they're always there. We appreciate uh, everything they do. I've been in the Maryland National Guard since 1988. Uh, I feel strongly about the Maryland National Guard. That's why I'm still doing it. You know, it, to me, it's an opportunity to be able to go out and serve the community and the country. I'm always 100% ready to go wherever necessary. Uh, my family is 100% supportive of me. I have four girls and one little boy, and they're just excited when I go and excited when I get back. We, we put the call out there, they answer the call, no matter what it is. Um, you know, when we had the riots in Baltimore, when we had the flooding in Ellicott City, um, every time there's a major storm event or any kind of a crisis, we call on the guard and they're always there. 